Christopher Agamemnon Palace, the 2nd of December 1923, Bombay, the 10th of March 2005, London, was an Anglo-Greek neurologist and socialist intellectual. Under the pen names Martin Granger and Maurice Brinton, he wrote and translated for the British libertarian socialist group Solidarity from 1960 until the early 1980s. As a neurologist, he produced the accepted criteria for brainstem death, and wrote the entry on death for Encyclopædia Britannica. Life Chris Pallas was born to a prominent Anglo-Greek family, of whose intellectual achievements he was always extremely proud. The poet Alexandros Pallas was a great uncle, and so the writers Marietta Pallas and Marco Pallas were also relatives. His father Alex was general manager of the family firm of merchant bankers, Raleigh Brothers. When he retired, he returned from India to settle in Switzerland. Educated there, Chris Pallas became fluent in French, English and Greek. In 1940 the family managed to take the last boat out of France, and settled in England. Pallas went up to study medicine at Balliol College, Oxford in 1941. Joining the Communist Party of Great Britain, he was quickly expelled for criticising its policy on the Second World War, and became a member of the Trotskyist Revolutionary Communist Party. In 1947 he married Jean Marty, a working-class French university student, and for a decade he dropped out of politics to pursue his medical career. In 1957 he joined the Trotskyist group led by Jerry Healy, the club, which in 1959 became the Socialist Labour League. He was expelled by Healy in 1960 and with a group of other ex-members of the SLL immediately set up Solidarity. Like a number of other former members of the SLL he was also involved with the journal International Socialism in the early 1960s. For the next 20 years, he combined a distinguished medical career under his real name with pseudonymous revolutionary socialist writing and translation. His work includes several eyewitness accounts of key moments in European left politics the Belgian general strike of 1960, Paris in May 1968, Portugal's Carnation Revolution in 1974-75, a substantial body of English translations of the work of Cornelius Castoriadis, the main thinker of the French group Socialisme au Barbary, and two short books, one, the Bolsheviks and Workers' Control, 1970, on the aftermath of the Bolshevik Revolution, and one, the Irrational in Politics, 1974, on sexual politics. The publishers of a recent online edition of the Bolsheviks and Workers' Control describe it as follows: The Bolsheviks and Workers' Control is a remarkable pamphlet by Maurice Brinton exposing the struggle that took place over the running of workplaces in the immediate aftermath of the Russian Revolution. In doing so not only does it demolish the romantic Leninist history of the relationship between the working class and their party during these years 1917 but it also provides a backbone to understanding why the Russian Revolution failed in the way it did. From this understanding flows alternative possibilities of revolutionary organization and some 26 years after the original was written this is perhaps its greatest contribution today. For this reason alone this text deserves the greatest possible circulation today and we encourage you to link to it, download the text or otherwise circulate it. Chris Pallas died in March 2005. Topic. References Topic. Further reading Brinton, Maurice Goodway, David Ed. For Workers' Power, The Selected Writings of Maurice Brinton. AK Press, 2004. ISBN 1-904859-07-0 External links Maurice Brinton Archive Libertarian Communist Library Maurice Brinton Archive Pamphlets by the Solidarity Group and Maurice Brinton Two Appreciations of Chris Pallas a.k.a. Maurice Brinton Paul Anderson, A Socialist for All Seasons, Gauche, 25 September 2005